Hey gang, welcome back. It's I, Dr. Bosky, and today we had a question show up on our YouTube channel uh, about how to put in player banking animations. So I thought I would um, just do a little thing on that. So uh, yeah, so um, uh, Peter Sanchez um, basically said, really nice, is there any video that teaches how to turn the player ship like that? Uh, would it be helpful? Uh, it would help me a lot. Thanks. Uh, yeah. So if you take a look here, um, our buddy here made Crimson Hell, which was super cool. And you can see here. Oh, yeah, there you go. So when you're moving, you have a banking animation. Yeah. Cool. So why don't we jump into it? All right. So first, and, and I won't go too deep on this, but first and foremost, I'll drop a link to the description here. So what you want to do is you want to come on over to the Shmup Creator um, documentation. And then uh, there'll be assets and art creation. And then down here, there is how to set bank animations. So um, basically, it says you need to create a sprite sheet. So this is a sprite sheet here um, with an odd number of frames. And so each one of these is a frame in the animation. And the engine knows that the frame in the middle, um, your third frame in this case, is your idle frame and then when you move left or right on the analog or on the, the controls keyboard or or uh, d-pad or analog stick all the same um, then it knows to draw this frame and then draw this frame and stay in this frame as long as you're continuing to press left um, or, or to come back through and stay in the neutral if you don't have any inputs on the on the controller so and then uh, here you have uh, the ability to set your animation speed columns and rows for the sprite sheet so uh, and then uh, here you want to set the uh, player settings tab to banking. So why don't we uh, hop over and give that a try. So first and foremost, um, what I have done is I came into uh, Photoshop. You can use your own, um, your own uh, uh, image editing software. So the, the big thing to keep in mind is that we have in individual frames, right? So um, what you wanna do is, is um, in this case, so the whole sprite sheet for me is 1280 by um, 256 height because each one of my frames is 256 by 256. So 256 by 256. Um, and then you have each of your frames um, that are your banking animation frames. Uh, and then you wanna put all these together into a single sheet. They need to be horizontal in this way um, because the engine doesn't know how to read a, um, a sprite atlas. I won't go too deep into that, but just for the sake of argument, you want to create each of your frames in a, and make sure that each one of them are the same in terms of size and they're all centered um, inside of each of those things. So in Photoshop, basically um, I set grid lines to every 256 pixels. Um, so, and then you can see that everything's aligned. Okay, so I did that, saved all that out. And then I'm over in the engine. I got a little test project here. And what you wanna do is you wanna come over to your game box and uh, you wanna reveal and explore and your so this will this is where your uh, assets live right so what you want to do is you want to come back to assets because right now you're in enemies in that case and you want to go into models and then you want to come down to players sprites and then here um i have uh oops i think i need to save that um uh, i'm gonna already tell you that's wrong yeah that's wrong so i um oh yeah uh, one second let me fix my sprite and okay, we're back. Yeah, so um, the other thing that's super important uh, is that you want to make sure your image has an alpha channel, um, which is basically when you look at, and, and uh, if you use GIMP or other things, it's all very similar. But uh, in Photoshop, um, basically you can see here that um, the image has transparency around it. So that's what your alpha channel is. Uh, and when I exported my image, the reason why it was black was because I didn't export with the alpha channel. So um there's other tutorials on that, but that's not, I, I don't want to go too, down, too, too far down the hole in that. Okay, so come on back over here, and this is where we're at, right? So um, back to players and sprites. So you can see here, here's the image. Um, so, and now you come back into the, um, into the game engine, select your player uh, sprite, your player object. Uh, and then here you want to come to player, open up player. And you can see there's a few of them here in this case. Um, here's the one that we created. So... Click OK. Cool. And now we've got everything that you could ever want. Oh, wait. No, that's not right. <laughs> All right. So now what we need to do is we come on over here uh, and we want to set up banking, I believe. Right. So we'll leave it at five for the moment. And 
uh, I think we need to come into, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, do we need to set the animations? I forget. So collision, we won't worry about for the moment. Okay. Uh, it's always, you're always got to poke around a little bit. And. Let's see here. So it's the bank speed. Physics there. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's take a look at the docs again because I forgot which ones were which. All right. So we're here. All right. So in the player, we, uh, okay. So we do have to set the animations, right? So that, that was right. So here we're back over to animation. So we know we have five images in this case. Um, and it needs to be set up this way. So we set that to five. Uh, and we only have one row. So here's our, our player, which is great. Uh, you'll probably want to come in and you want to adjust your uh, collision shape as well. You can just uh, do that by auto collision if you want like that. That's totally fine. And you can see here, you can already see um, basically the engine is showing a little animation. So we come in here and now there you go. I'm pressing left and right on the, uh, on the keyboard. And so you can adjust if you want it to feel more snappy. You can adjust the uh, la, 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 in gameplay uh in settings you come back down to the bank and then you can see here there's a speed so if you set that to one it it's very it, it say basically pops very quickly or it, it's very slow in this case so you can see if i'm going left so if i go right yeah it takes a little while to get there right so um that's why five is probably a yeah, it feels pretty good, right? So that, that feels definitely good. Okay, um, let's see, is there anything else? Any other tips that we should talk about here? Let's just double check the docs. And uh, I'll drop a, an image to the sprite um, in, um, in the comments as well. So, ah, right, so in player settings tab, so we had the bank. Yeah, so there's the animation. And move we have banking roll pitch and speed so i think the roll pitch and speed only show up yeah um so you only have speed in this case i think you roll and pitch um if you're using a 3d object so um yeah i think those are the main things so i hope that was helpful new you know, short and sweet um if you have any questions feel free to post them in chat um otherwise i will talk to everyone soon thank you